Hey, first grade, go ahead and grab your journal out and a pencil, and you'll also need a blue crayon. So, just so you know. All right, let's find page 207, 207. Mine is marked here with a, a post-it note. So we are gonna talk about shapes. If you want any kind of review of shapes, you can always review um, the kindergarten 2D shape um, videos because we have done that. Uh, we talked about quadrilaterals. I think I brought that up in, in one of our lessons. So here we are gonna read the clues and color the shapes that match. I don't need this right now. So you're gonna look at the two shapes. For example, what is this one called? And what is that one called? Square rectangle. And we're gonna see which one it is. This one you can use any color. You don't have to use the blue. Oh, not yellow, because then you won't be able to see it. So let's see, all of my sides are the same length. So looking at this, and you know the sides, are what make up the shape. How, which one have the same length? So think about it. If you say a square, you are correct. So you'll color in the square. Now let's look at the rectangle real quick. Why would we not have colored that one in? It says that the sides are the same length. The rectangle has two long sides and two short sides, so that wouldn't work. So I wanna talk about number two because it talks about this word right here my angles. So I'm gonna to go to this board here. When you draw a shape, before you draw, you have different angles. And so when you draw a square, the angle is here. I'm gonna do it like that. This is math writing. So this is an angle that's here. And then this is the same angle. If you were to look at it, which one seems to have a bigger, a wider angle? Or I could even draw one like this and this would be the angle inside there. So the angle is what's on the inside from the corner. This is the angle. So looking at here, all of my angles are the same size. Ooh, that's a tricky one. So think about looking at each of the shapes. And each corner. And in the corners there, which one has the same exact size? So they all look the same. I'm gonna give you a clue. It looks like this one that I drew up here. This one's called a 90 degree angle if you were to measure these angles because they do have tools you can measure them with. And one day you will learn that. It's called a protractor, right? Yes, mm -hmm. and it will measure that angle. So look for an angle that has an angle like this because that is the easiest one to draw to have the same exact angles. Do you see it? If you said a rectangle, you are correct. I'm gonna color in my rectangle. Are you gonna read all of them? Mm, I don't think so. It's just two, so, these are kinda... yes. <laughs> um, this one, only two of my sides are the same length. So think about that, only two sides the same. These are, all of my sides are the same length. Kind of like number one. This one talks about angles again. All of my angles are the same size. Ooh, this one's tricky, because it's not the 90 degree like the rectangle. So look at those. That's a tricky one. Can you see which one it would be? Which one has the same, the angles? So you're gonna look in here. I'm, gonna, I'm not coloring it. You're gonna look where the dots are. And then here, two of my sides are the same length. That's another tricky one. Look at the sides now. So now you're gonna look at these lines here. Which one has only two sides are the same length? So this takes some thinking and listening to the clues that are written. If you need help, your parents are always there to help you with this. I have a feeling they could probably do this one. If not, you can text me, email me, let me know if you needed some help on that. All right, angles. That's our new word. Angles. Nice. See if there's... Yeah, no. Good luck. It'll be good. It'll be awesome. Yeah, they can do All it. All right. The, oh, the next page is it again. Read the clues and color the shapes. So it's probably talking more about sides, which sides have the same length. So you'll look at the sides. So you get lots of practice. All of my angles are the same size. So it's similar things. You might see some of the same shapes or some different ones. Two of my sides are the same length. So we reading, make sure you read the directions. Two of your sides are the same length. And only two sides. So I'm just gonna give you a clue. This one, they're all the same, so that's four. So it won't be that. So if you look at this one, it has a really long base or bottom, and then these two are the same. So I gave you that answer right there. 
because the two of the sides are the same length. All of my sides are the same length. Here's all of my angles are the same size. So you're looking on the inside at the corners. And this last one, only two of my sides are the same length. So be looking at that, you're looking at sides. All right, the next page is looking at shapes again. We're checking things off. So you have four different steps to do. This is where the blue crayon comes in. So the first one says, check each shape with four equal, that's the key word, equal sides. So they have to be the same length. And what's cool about this, it's on a dot graph paper. So if you look at a square, it has one, two, three, four dots on each side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that means that they are equal sides. So I'm going to check that one off. If you look at this rectangle, right away we can tell it doesn't have equal sides because it's short and long. But you can also tell there's only three dots here and one, two, three, four, five, six dots on the side. So the dot graph paper helps you see with that's much easier than what the other pages were because you can actually see how long they are. So don't check that one off. It doesn't have equal sides. So do the same with all of the shapes. Equal sides. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Check. This one's a little harder because it has, <clears throat> it doesn't go on the dots. So look through that. But what you can do is visualize, say, oh, I have, oh, this is tricky, these dots here. It goes from here to here. So if you were to do the, if they would have the same amount in between, you could check that. Look at all the shapes, check off the ones that have equal sides. You're getting some tricky work today, let me tell you. All right. You're gonna need red too. Oh, I am, oh, I missed one. All right, we'll get that when we do. Here it says to use blue to color each square. So now you're just looking getting blue and you're looking for just the squares. So we know this is a square. So you're just gonna color the squares right over your check mark and you're gonna color all the other squares. No matter which direction they are, square is four equal sides. So look for that. All right, number three, draw a ring around each shape with four equal angles. So now we're looking at the angles, whew. Now we have to think about that, looking on the inside. So a ring around it, if you wanna use another color, you can. I'm gonna use green, I'm gonna draw a ring, or a circle, around, it has four equal angles. So on the inside, so you're looking at the angles. Another one would be, they have the same angles, this one. Draw a ring around each shape with four equal angles. Ooh, we didn't check this one off and we didn't color it in blue because it's not equal a square, but it has equal angles. So you're gonna be doing some things to other shapes you haven't even looked at yet. And then the last one, that's where our red crayon comes in, says use red to color each shape with only two equal sides. Whew. So two equal sides. So think about that rectangle these are equal sides, meaning they have the same, they're the same length, the same amount of dots. Um, so color this one. Is there another one that has two equal sides? I see one right away. This is the same size as this. I'm gonna give you that. Now these are not equal, but you only need two equal sides. So here's one and here's two. So you would color that one in red. So it takes a lot of thinking, do one at a time. Check first, do number one, and then move on to number two with all the shapes. Whew, and then give your brain a little break. And we'll move on to the last one, which I know you all can do. It's just going over things that we've done. Making two addition Ooh, sentences. Clock. I know. Subtraction sentences using this amount. We know that there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven snowmen. So the seven will go on the equal, and then remember the bigger number, the boss on subtraction will go on the front. Then time, ooh, after, is it tomorrow? No, in a couple weeks, we're gonna be doing time. So this is some good practice to see what you remembered from kindergarten. Remember we have the hour hand is a small one because hour is a small word, and minute hand. I'm just gonna do a quick reminder because it's been a while. 
So the hour hand is the number you say first, and when it's on the 12, it's o'clock. So we're starting off easy. So what time is it? What is the little hand on? We're gonna do this one together. It's 11 o'clock. Ooh, write the time one hour later. So if the clock goes all the way around for a whole 60 minutes, around again, it's not on 11 anymore, what will the hour hand be on? Let's see if you can figure that one out. All right, and then number three, draw more dots to make 13. So you're doing nine plus some number equals 13. So you're gonna fill that out and then color the coins you could use to buy this toy for 16 cents. And that is it. A lot of new concepts in here, different things that you're thinking about. So if you have any questions, ask and we'll get you through it. Awesome job and we'll see you tomorrow, bye.